Hi, welcome to T Tutorial. HTML Tutorial, Beginner Level. Lesson 6, Images and iFrame. To display images, in your web document, you need to use image tag. The image tag, is empty. It contains attributes only. You can close it, simply by adding slash. Now, to specify the URL, or the web address of the image, you have to use, source attribute. It is common to store images in a subfolder. Then, you must include the folder name, in the source attribute. Some websites, store their images, on image servers. Actually, you can access images, from any web address in the world. If the user, for some reason, cannot view the image, because of slow connection, or an error in the source attribute, or if the user uses a screen reader. In that case, you should have, alternative for your image. Well, there is a handy attribute for this reason, which is, alt attribute. If the image cannot be displayed, the alternative attribute, specifies an alternate text, for an image. Remember that, the alt attribute, is required. Without it, a web page, will not validate correctly. Always, specify the width and height of an image. If width and height are not specified, the page will flicker, while the image loads. You can use the style attribute, to specify the width and height of the image. The values are specified in pixels. Alternatively, you can use width and height attributes. Here, the values are specified in pixels by default. It's recommended to use the style attribute, for specifying images width and height, because it prevents styles sheets, from changing the original size of images. The image can float, to the right, or to the left of a text. To let the image float, use the CSS float property. You can divide an image into clickable areas. You can divide an image into clickable areas. By using image map. To define an image map, use map tag. First off, you should have an image called already. Because map tag, works according to that image. The relationship between them, depend on special attributes. Use map attribute on image tag, defines the image to be mapped. And the name attribute, on the map tag is associated with the image's use map attribute, and creates a relationship between the image and the map. The map tag, contains a number of area tags, that defines the clickable areas in the image map. Area, takes different shapes, to specify the shape for the area, use shape attribute. Now, to define the coordinates for the rectangular area, you need to know two points. First point. 
Second point. And the most important attribute, href, that defines the destination, after clicking on this area. For the circle area, you must define the center of the circle. And the radius. Remember, loading images, takes time. Large images, can slow down your page. Use images carefully. And add border 0, to prevent Internet Explorer 9, and earlier, from displaying a border around the image. If you want to display a web page, within a web page, then you have to use, iframe tag. To specify the URL, or the web address, of the iframe page, use source attribute, src. To specify the size of the iframe, use the height and width attributes. The attribute values are specified in pixels by default, but, they can also be in percent. By default, an iframe, has a black border around it. To remove the border, add the style attribute, and use the CSS border property. With CSS, you can also change the size, style, and color of the iframe's border. This is all for today's lesson. Next lesson we will learn, how to jump from web page to another. Thanks for watching. Like, share this video, to make T-Tutorial more popular. Follow us on other social media network. Thanks again.